Chippy T, chippy, 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 chippy. I feel like that's how PK is gonna say it in his accent. Chippy Tay. That's what I'm saying. Guys, this is PK Chippy Tay. Live at the Bolton Albert Halls, Halls in Manchester, his hometown. You know, I've been going on that PK dumpster dive. I've made a playlist, link in the description if you wanna check out my reaction to that. Student reacts. Look, I'm, I'm gonna be reacting to so many of these things, so keep suggesting in the comment section below. Um, this is a whole new world for me being a student from London in the UK. But guys, look, with that being said, as always, if you're excited for these reactions, make sure you smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Let's go. I missed a button. Let's go. Shops are bad when you go in shops. I don't like it when they start, you know, when they think you've got forged money. And they make you feel, and there's a cube behind you, they start looking at you like, you know, That's you, tight. they start holding up to the light, see if Queen's got a tash. <sighs> Put it on that ultraviolet machine, you know. Right, oh I went into my. one shop, I gave her a 20 pound note. She looked at me like I'd come into a house on Christmas Day and pissed on a kid. I said, hey, <laughs> it's a 20 pound note, love, I'm not from Mars. <laughs> Yo, that metaphor was so wild, that's so funny, man. Like, he pissed on her kids, that's so crazy. Even, do people still use those, um, cause people still do that, I'm pretty sure people still do that, right? I haven't seen someone do it in a while, but to be honest, because I, I, I don't use cash anymore, that's why. Yeah, like everything's Apple Pay for me, so yeah, no, nah, I, I reckon if I was to give them a £50 note, they would check it. But £20, they're checking that as well, here. Yeah. Hey. Forged money, and they make you feel, and there's a queue behind you, they start looking at you like, you know, you, they start holding up to the light, see if Queen's got a tash. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on that ultraviolet machine, you know. They make you feel. I went into one shop, I gave her a twenty pound note. She looked at me like I'd come into house on Christmas Day and pissed on a kid. I said, "Hey, <laughs> so that look of disgust." Twenty pound note, love. I'm not from Mars, <laughs> sir. <laughs> when she gave me my change, I bit it, Matt. <laughs> Just checking, love. It's not chocolate. You know what I mean? Two can play at that game, uh, flower. <laughs> <laughs> He's so petty. <laughs> That's funny. People apologise for change as well. Can I give you all this change, love? Can I get rid of all this shrapnel? Can I get rid of all this shit on you, love? Can I shit on you, love? Can I get rid of all this? Oh, no, we're glad of it. We're glad of it, aren't we, Barbara? We're glad of it. We need it. Oh, you've come at the right time. We're glad of it. <laughs> Why is Barbara such an appropriate name? <laughs> like, of course she's called Barbara. Oh, Barbara, my God. We're glad of it. We need it. Oh, you've come at the right time. We're glad of it. I went to Chippy on a Friday night, right? Chippy T, like you do. Chippy T. I went in. I gave her a twenty pound note. This woman. Now, as she's putting it into till, she turns to the other woman who's serving behind the counter. Right. Mm. Oh, hear me out. She, they do. They do this in Greg's. And she's putting <laughs> it Greg. in. She's, she says to the other woman, twenty pound going in, Marion. Twenty going in, love. I said, hey, mouth. <laughs> what? I'd do the same thing. Time up for me changing. <laughs> He's got 17 pound shades, that lad. <laughs> I'm going to be lying up front street in a minute, covered in peas. Winded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> covered in peas. Hey, they don't do peas down south. I went down south doing some shows, went to a chippy. I said, uh, chips and peas, please. We don't do peas. You what? We don't do peas. They don't do peas. <laughs> they don't do... That's my friend, he's outside through the window. You've got to talk like that through glass. <laughs> they don't do peas. Yo, the way he's able to tell a story and just, like, find comedy and just such random, like, things or, like, things that are associated with the story that you wouldn't think he'd make a joke out, but he can. He's just so natural. Right? Um, but chips and peas, by the way. That's... How I don't I never got that. I remember when I was you know doing my school meals like in primary school even. That's the last time I had chips and peas, which was not that long ago. Um, can remember it can remember it quite vividly, and I was just like I just don't like this. Chips, peas, fish fingers, or just fish and chips. I like fish. I like beans. I like beans with chips. And whatever like fish fingers burger whatever. But peas, man. Whoever, every time I saw someone go and like one of my like my schoolmates get peas, I was looking at them funny. I'm like, you eat peas of chips? How could you? How do you like that? Surely that's just for health reasons, right? That's surely you're just trying to be healthy and just mix peas with chips. That's the only reason. Because no one likes, no one tastes chips or peas and goes, that tastes nice. 
No one. Don't comment down below and blame me and say everyone does. Don't do that because I know it's one person. You're part of the minority. That's so you have to be. No way. They don't do that's my friend, he's outside through the window. You gotta talk like that through glass. They don't do pee. <laughs> Curry sauce, curry sauce, curry, curry sauce. They do curry sauce. Don't do curry sauce, mate. What we don't do curry sauce. They don't do curry sauce. Curry sauce, no go. No His go. Boy. Gravy, gravy. We don't do gravy. They don't do gravy. My friend come in. He said, "Hey, how's that out moist? How's that out moist? Forget it. We're going." <laughs> Twenty pound going in. Oh, I'll tell you this one. I went to pie shop. Pie shop. I went to pie shop. I gave her a twenty. I gave her a ten pound note. Right. I she gave me my change. She went. There you go, love. Seven one eight. She wanted two. She wanted five. Ten fifty and ten. Your change. I said, Hey, what's that you saying to me? What's that? Coach, change it into me hand. Seven one eight. She wanted two. She wanted five. Ten fifty and ten. Your change. Love. Much obliged to you. Come hey, that's skill, though. That's, That's a skilled like cashier. Magical bollocks, what's that you saying to me? <laughs> Do you want pick a lily? I'd rather lick me own arsehole, love, if you don't mind. <laughs> pick a lily! What's that? What's pick a lily? <laughs> don't eat anything that's luminous. <laughs> You'll be drinking mild next. Scientists don't know. I bought yeah, steak and kidney pies. You went, there you go, love. Watch me juices. I said, hey, 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 hey. hey. I want a pie, like your life story. Eh? It's a matter of <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter K, man. You know what, guys? First, first thought watch after watching that is Peter K carries too much change. First of all, get get yourself Apple Pay, get yourself a card. You know, like who uses cash these days? That's such like millennial slash Gen X stuff. Come on, um, get with the times. Anyways. <laughs> I love making the jokes because most of you guys that watch me always flame me in the comments. Every time I make a joke about um, like a old people joke or something, I just get crucified, crucified. But um, come on guys, you know, it's, I have to, I have to, I have to, every now and then, you know, and then when I, I'm sure when I get older, I'm going to know exactly how it feels when people in, you know, generation alpha, you know, because that's what they call it now, the generation below me, generation alpha. They're going to start going, oh my God, you're 23, you're old. And because they, they see 23 as old and stuff like that, even though it's not, even 30 is not old and whatnot. Anyways, PK, get yourself some, get yourself Apple Pay, first of all, if you don't have that old credit card. Don't know when this was. Second of all, um, yeah, again, he's such a natural. He's able to just seamlessly find comedy and just some of the most random things and i feel like that's a true mark of a comedian who can just who doesn't need to like make like who can find material of most things like you don't you don't need to just like some i feel like some comedians just force certain types of jokes or not even force it but they they, they can only make certain types of jokes or they, their content is always forced like or made around certain things peter k when you have this kind of storytelling type humor like comment comedic style like he's a storyteller like you can find content from many different avenues just stories and relatable things that you're you've gone down it's more relatable in that sense i would be interested to see if pk has done a more like typical comedy set where he comment he, he makes jokes maybe about maybe politics or political more charged topics because those tend to be the ones that like i feel like comedians tap on because you know it, it helps you reach a larger audience and they're more mainstream topics um, so we'll see. I mean, PK is already big enough as it is just doing his storytelling jokes. He's so likable. Um, but yeah, guys, look. Let me know what you guys thought of the reaction. Uh, let, let me know what other um, PK stuff you guys want to check out because you know I'm going to continue on this boat, this um, dumpster dive. And um, yeah, guys, look, with that being said, as always, we know Budget Flex has been PK and you guys have been absolutely wonderful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.